Hey, this is Storm, art director for Group Magazine, and we're going to give Rick here the last word because um, this is his 25th anniversary with Group. 25 years. So, Rick, we wanted to ask you a couple questions and uh, get your take on what's been happening with you uh, the last 25 years at Group and Group Magazine. So, here we go. Or here, we, here, here goes Scott because he's first. That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Works great. So Rick, how have things changed in Group Magazine in the last 25 years that you've been here? How have they changed? Hmm. I'd say uh, one way is uh, 25 years ago, there weren't many idea resources in youth ministry, and so Group very much filled that role. There was also no internet uh, 25 years ago, and there was no you know, huge... Um, uh, kind of landscape of youth ministry resources that people could go to. There was not a lot around, and uh, group was a huge fish in that in that pond. And so, a lot of youth pastors depended upon group just for the basic bread and butter ideas for their ministry. Obviously, that's changed a lot in 25 years. There's lots of places that youth pastors can get great ideas from, and uh, internet, other magazines, other resources. There's lots more places. <laughs> Rick, in the world of youth ministry, what has been the biggest change you've seen in the last 20, 25 years? You no, know, if there was no sound to that question and people were just looking at that, they would say, you're Italian. I just have to say. I'm married to an Italian, so this is very familiar to me, this bello, sort of action. Um, in the world of youth ministry, what is the biggest thing that has changed? Um, I think that the, the basics of how youth ministry works haven't changed that much. Um, authentic relationships in the context of uh, biblical truth and the goal of uh, bringing kids closer to Jesus it hasn't really changed that much. The, the basic mechanics of how young people are, are impacted, but the culture has changed a lot and there's the challenges that youth pastors face um, are much different than in the past, I'd say, and there's a lot more pressure on youth pastors um, than there was 25 years ago, mostly because it's a profession now. It's a paid staff position, and there's a lot of expectations on people who are paid pastors on a staff at the church from counseling uh, expectations and entering into some really, really hard situations that youth pastors are expected to be able to enter into and, no. and, um, and be a pastor in. Um, so, so that's something that's changed. And the cultural influences, the, the way that kids are connected to their media and their technology and um, uh, other pursuits that take them away from church, that has changed a lot. It's a lot more of a what I would call a, a competitive environment for ideas and interests and um, uh, outside activities. It's just hugely competitive. You ready? All right, Rick, hey, all silliness aside, uh, congratulations on 25 years. That's uh, quite a milestone. Congratulations. You helped a lot of youth workers, done a lot of good stuff with the magazine. Um, good job. Uh, uh, you got anything? Yeah, thanks, Rick, for everything you've done for me personally and uh, the way you've mentored me and just cared about me, and I appreciate that. Me as well. Just thank you so much for what you've done for me, my family, and just for, for group and for all the youth workers out there. Thank you, Rick. Congrats. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Congrats. Have a good new 25.